All righty then. Now this is an update I really, really like. Now Adobe XD recently updated its platform and I am pretty impressed. And the fact is that Figma had been winning for so long in the past few months. We saw great Figma updates and we saw people going towards Figma, people moving from XD to Figma. This update, however, will impress even these people. All right, I'm dividing this video into two parts. One part where I showcase the updates that have happened and the other part will be where I showcase the updates that I expect from the next major update. All right, so without further ado, let's just begin with the video. The first update we're gonna look at is share selected artboards. This update is pretty self-explanatory. Earlier, when you had to share a prototype, you had to share all the screens in one go. However, now you can literally share one artboard, whether it is one screen or 100 screens, you can share selected screens now if you want. This is a feature which was available in Figma for a while, but it was missing in XD. The real benefit of this feature is that you no longer have to include pages you don't want to. And a lot of times you have draft images or draft artboards, which are not complete or which might not be the final artboards. Now you just share the final artboards and you can use the tag feature in Adobe XD to differentiate it. Toggle state shortcuts. Earlier in Adobe XD, there was a hover shortcut. As you can see on screen, if I want an animation to occur, I can either make it occur on tap or on hover. For, but for your convenience, Adobe XD is bringing a new feature where you literally say toggle. So if you want to make a switch, you can make it a switch. If you want to make a button pop out after you've pressed it, you can make it do that as well. There are so many possibilities that you can use to create some crazy animations along with switch. This will reduce the workflow by half. Live cursor, live cursor for co-editing. Thank God. One USP of Figma is that you have those amazing colored cursors that you can follow along and you can create stuff with teammates. You had co-editing in XD, now you have co-editing with live cursors in XD. The brilliant part about this feature which surpasses so Figma is that now it also has small images of the people who are actually doing work. So if you have five teammates, you can see their faces instead of just seeing their names. And I think that is a brilliant update. However, there is an issue with this update. If you are working with say 10 people and they don't have very clear images or no images, you really can't understand who's working there. You'll have to check separately, just like you were doing in Figma. For some people, a name is better. For some people, an image is better. So, you know, it can work both ways. Two words, new plugins. They are now promoting more plugins to come into XT because now they are competing with a giant like Figma and they're literally head to head with a lot of these features as well. XD is great for prototyping, Figma is great for wireframing, UX and UI. Important platforms that companies tend to use for teamwork, things like monday.com, Asana, even Workfront are now getting support in XD. They're getting official plugins, which means that workflow with your team is gonna become next level impressive and next level easy. Hmm, Adobe XD, I see you competing with Figma in the teamwork category now. There are two other smaller updates Updates. One is that Adobe XD now supports the M1 MacBooks. Whatever new MacBooks will arrive will come with the M1 chip. So it makes complete sense that XD is working towards making an app that supports those chips. And according to a post by Howard Pinsky, who is guru of XD, he has said that it's blazingly fast. I haven't gotten a chance to use it. I don't own an M1 MacBook, but he says it's super smooth, it's super fast. And I feel it kind of will remind you of the early days of XD when it was easy and smooth. Now it kind of lags somewhere here and there, but let's see. Preferences menu, okay. This is interesting. Right now, Figma is in a position where what you see is what you get. People rarely change preferences or settings in Figma because it's more of a web app than an actual full-scale application. XD, on the other hand, is a full-scale application that works 
primarily on your desktop as a separate application. Now Adobe XD will promote things like languages. Yes, wherever you are from, you will have more support of languages and then you can work with your team in that language. And I think that is a great way to say we love the world instead of saying we love just English. They've also stated something called sharing tools. Now this is a little vague right now for me. I don't understand what it really means. If somebody really knows what they mean, then do comment below. And they're also going to give you in-app tips, which for beginners, it's going to be a big deal. I actually want to see in-app tips like Framer. Framer does it very well, where they have literal tutorials built inside their UI. So if you want to switch between a tutorial and working, it's right there. There is a small video playing on the bottom right or bottom left, and you can work side by side with that tutorial. And something like that will be very impressive if XT incorporates that in their app. Now let's move on to what I really expect from the next two to three months. The number one thing that I expect is pages. The XT team stated earlier that they're working on a, a better platform to provide pages. They need to work on the speed and agility of this application. And this update could be a good sign that they're working on speed, they're working on performance, and hence pages will arrive very soon. Another feature that I anticipate every month, but it's taking much longer than I expected is multiple gradients and shadows. This is something which is very interesting in Figma. You can have multiple colors, gradients, overlays, shadows, effects. This allows it to be a complete design tool rather than just a basic UI design tool. I expect that from the next at least three months, if not more. I'm also really anticipating another feature which is very close to my heart. More features in the Adobe XD auto animate. They know auto animate is their USB. So I am expecting them to work on it more. I expect things like busier curves where you can literally change how the animation works. I expect more interaction features, things like double tap, long press. Those things I'm not in a hurry for because it already exists with tools like Protopie, but in built in XD would be next level important. You guys might have seen that Figma in a lot of ways will be becoming paid in the upcoming months. They're gonna change their payment structure. I expect XD for individuals to stay completely free for the rest of their life. I just hope they bring more features and they keep it free, they keep it eligible for everyone, even students and individuals. But except that, kudos to XD for this update. I am feeling happy wearing this XD cap right now that they sent me and I'm happy that I might even be using XD more now because of this update. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, I'm sure you'll like this one that I have on screen as well. These can be very helpful to you. I also have this little circle here. Click on it. Subscribe to the channel for videos every Monday and Thursday. I will see you next time, same place, same time. Until next time, take care and God bless.